Hello and what is up guys, my name is Pixel Polish and welcome to the show where I'll be going through the latest releases and announcements from the ever-growing PlayStation Vita world. Without further ado, let's see what's going on in Vita News for Tuesday, 20th of May 2014. Sparkle 2, a casual friendly match 3 puzzler is heading to PlayStation 4 and Vita this week. Anyone who has ever played games like Zuma or Luxor should feel right at home with this marble shooter. The formerly iOS game will support cross-buy, PSN trophies, as well as PlayStation Vita touchscreen and PlayStation 4 touchpad controls. You can pick it up in the upcoming days for $7.99 or your original equivalent with a trial version also available if you're not convinced right off the bat. A Japanese action-packed dungeon crawler RPG Mind Zero is slated for release on PlayStation Vita next week. The game was originally released on August last year in Japan and for better or for worse it has received many comparisons to the Persona series. Less than one year later we will be getting a fully localized version of the game. In Mind Zero you take on the role of a high school student whose life turns upside down when he forms a contract with a mind, a being with deadly powers. The game will be released on the 27th of May in North America and 28th of May in Europe. Son of Scorgasm, a twin stick shoot em up and a sequel to the original Scorgasm is blasting its way to PlayStation Vita. The game will feature slick visuals and non-linear progression. Instead of being locked inside of an arena like in most typical games of this genre, players will be able to move between interlinked levels as they please. The game is all about high-speed action, colorful explosions and high-score multipliers. Those interested in the game can expect a release sometime around the end of June. X-Blaze Code Embryo, a prequel to Blaze Blue series, is set for release on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita. X-Blaze is a visual novel video game set 150 years before the events of Calamity Trigger and 50 years before the Dark War. Code Embryo tells a story of Toya Kagari, a normal high school student who is introduced to the mysterious power of the Azure. The game is slated for release on the 24th of June, with the demo being available for download right now. If you're a fan of the series, head on to PlayStation Store and get a taste of things to come. New details and release date for One Piece Unlimited World Red was revealed by the publisher. According to the announcement from Bandai Namco, there will be a total of 20 playable characters, including Fujitora, Crocodile, Flamefist HD Portgast, The Hole's True Hat Crew, and the Empress Boa Hancock. In addition to that, players who will purchase the Day 1 Straw Hat Edition will be rewarded with two exclusive costume packs containing 19 outfits as well as a unique quest titled Flamefist and Straw Hat. The game will be released on June 27th in Europe and July 8th in North America. This Gaia 4, a Promise Revisited, got a release date and a slew of Vita exclusive content. The game was originally released for PlayStation 3 back in 2011 and the port is coming to PlayStation Vita this summer. To sweeten the deal for those interested in the Vita port, Nippon Ichi Software added many new features to the portable version of this Gaia 4, including, but not limited to, new scenarios, new tier of magic and skills, new rank 40 items and a lot of features known from this Gaia D2. This Gaia 4 A Promise Revisited will be released on the 12th of August in North America and the 29th of August in Europe. A listing for PlayStation Vita edition of the Smash indie hit Minecraft has officially appeared on the UK Amazon site. Customers can pre-order the physical copy of the game right now for a mere 13.99 euros. We don't have any information about the official release date yet, but 4J Studios teased us with a single screenshot from the Vita version of the game on their Twitter feed. PlayStation Vita port is based on the PlayStation 3 edition, but with added touchscreen functionality for a smoother experience. If Minecraft on the Vita will turn out to be anything like the portable version of Terraria, we can safely assume that this might be a solid portable experience. And that is it for this show, guys! Before I go, let me just remind you that the highly anticipated dark hunting action RPG Soul Sacrifice Delta was released last week on the PlayStation Store. Anyone who will pick up the game before the 14th of June will receive an extra Raymond pack including full costumes and extra headgear. 
We have celebrated the game's release here on my channel with a Soul Sacrifice Delta live launch event which you can watch by clicking on the link in the description or the bounding box that should be visible on your screen right about now. As for this show, you'll find links to the websites and trailers concerning today's topics in the description as well. Before you go, please support my channel by liking this video, commenting and subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.